Hi. So tomorrow will be your math paper. So in this video, I'll be covering some of the common careless mistakes and what you need to take note of. So step one, understand the problem. So what do I mean by understanding the problem? First, use a highlighter to mark out crucial information. Okay, so important points, highlight or underline, all right? Next, you need to check what is the question asking for. Are they asking for what's in the end or what's at first, what's sold, what's left, looking for boys or girls? Okay, number two, we need to devise a plan. Think about it. Is it a model question? Can I solve it using a model? Do I draw? Or is it working backwards? Do we make a supposition? Is it assumption? Try to recognize the question. Do you know the concept? Does it look familiar? Any keywords? Any clues? More than? Three times? You know? Try to look out for these and highlight. Also, you need to list down the information given. Okay, so let's say they give you ratio. Why don't you write down the ratios and things like that, all right? Number three, next you've got to carry out the plan. What's the first thing you can find? Okay, so sometimes if you have no idea how to solve, just ask yourself this question. Based on the information there, what's the first thing I can find? Okay, so you never know one thing leads to another, all right? Next, then from here, what's the next information that you can work out? So that's step by step, okay? And also, if your initial plan does not work out, try another plan. So let's say perhaps you started drawing a model. Then you realize that, oh, the model is not making any sense. It, you cannot make any sense out of it. Scrape that. Think of another way. Maybe you can use ratio or maybe you can just list down the information. Okay, don't be afraid to just try out another way. There could be a more suitable method to solve than your initial one. Okay. Next, it's important to check the units in the question. Now, sometimes they give you dollars and in the question, they give you cents as well. So don't take dollars and minus the cents or take the dollars divide by the cents. You need to change them either both to dollars or both to cents, then you can start working out, all right? So not just dollars and cents, it could be anything, okay? Kilometers, meters, liters, milliliters, anything. Please remember to convert the units to the same before you start working out, all right? Number five, diagram questions. So for diagram questions, it's very common that we will straight away look at the diagram and be so focused on the diagram that we forget to read the top. There are clues given to you at the top. So please read the question carefully for clues. Okay, like they will tell you, oh, which are the parallel lines. They will tell you which are equal lines. And after that, please mark the clues in the diagram. Okay, if there are parallel lines, right? Parallel lines means you draw the arrow, right? Or if they tell you, oh, this line is equals to this line, then what do you do? indicate that they are the same. You have squares, indicate that they are the same lines. Next, ensure that all your answers for your MCQ tally with the shaded ovals in your OAS. Okay, so please tally, if you've written down in your question paper, right? Make sure the answers tally with your OAS. Also, be sure to flip through the entire exam paper to ensure that all the questions have been attempted. Do not leave any questions blank. Worse still, leave one whole page blank. Okay, so please flip through to make sure every single page has been attempted. All right, and also every single question as well. Next, while you're checking, please redo all the questions by working through your calculations. So in paper one, Please work through all the calculations again manually. And for paper two, please work through all the questions, all the calculations to spot any mistakes. Okay. 
9. Check for transfer errors. Now, from the question to your working. Like 244. 244 is not the same as 224. Okay, so make sure you have transferred the number to your working correctly. And also, you're working to the blank. When you transfer your final answer to the answer blank, make sure you didn't transfer wrongly. Number 10, for paper 2, please remember your units. Your dollars, your kilograms, your kilometers, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and lastly, please sleep early. Okay, you will need an alert mind and the mental strength to last you through the challenges for the next few days. All right? So all the best for your papers. Bye-bye.